Lindsay Wilkes, and I'm the owner of The Cottage Mama and author of the book, So Classic Clothes for Girls. Thank you so much for joining me today on Lessons with Lindsay. Today, we're gonna to be focusing on how to finish the armholes of a lined A-line dress. This technique can be found in my Janie jumper pattern here, and also in my book, so classic clothes for girls in the A is for A-line chapter where you'll find several different variations of A-line dresses. So let's set these over to the side so that we can get working on this technique. Now it's a little bit unique and some people find this technique to be tricky when they're reading it in my book. So I thought, why don't we just show you how to do it and that'll help clarify any confusion that you might have. So here I have a basic A-line dress. This is actually the pattern from my Janie jumper pattern, minus the scallops that you see on the cover. So we're gonna unfold the dress here and you can see that I've already finished the neck hole and the shoulder seams of this dress so that we can move on to the armholes. So in order to begin this technique, we are going to take the exterior fabric and the lining fabric and we are going to separate the two. Okay, you see that here. Now what we're gonna do is we are gonna take this exterior fabric and bring it over to the other side and we are gonna take the lining fabric here and bring it under to the other side and we will be encasing this other armhole, which I know seems a little strange, but it's almost like you're making a little cocoon around the other armhole. So let's try that. So we're gonna take this and separate it and just think over under. So we're taking this one over to the other side, okay? And then we have our lining piece here and that needs to come under. So here we go under and we're gonna line up these two shoulder seams. So you gotta kind of maneuver this so that you get your fabrics all here so that you can wrap it around the other side. And what you're gonna do is just line up those shoulder seams and you know you may have to tuck this in here because you definitely don't want to catch that in your seam allowance and then we're going to take our pins and just line that up put a pin in it there and what I like to do is come around to where the armhole actually starts and start pinning here put a pin in it there you know come here and do the same and we'll just keep going. Now again, making sure that this other armhole is tucked nice and tight in there so that you don't catch it in the seam allowance. So then bring these two over and we're gonna start the same way here. That way, if for some reason your cutting was off just a little bit, you can adjust here. Make sure that everything lines up just perfectly. So here we go. Another pin and another pin here. Okay, so now you can see here that we have this armhole that we brought over and under and it's all nice and pinned here and wrapped around the other armhole. So now we're gonna take this over to the sewing machine and we are gonna sew with our, in this case, half inch seam allowance all the way around this armhole. So let's take this over to the machine. Let's put our presser foot down. Take a few back stitches to start, and then let's just get moving here. Let's see. Now we're gonna just make sure we're all nice and lined up. And again, you can kind of feel over here to make sure that you're not grabbing any of that other armhole. So we don't wanna do that. If you do, it's not the end of the world. You know, it'll just be a fun date with your seam ripper. Okay, so make sure we're all good under here. Yep, we we'll keep going. And this is where it gets a little hairy in here because you've got all your seams. So sometimes I just like to take a little peeksy in here. You know, it takes a little extra time, but it's worth it to make sure we don't catch that. Okay, keep working it around. 
No, it's not the fastest thing, but sometimes quality takes a little bit of time. Okay, I'm coming around. Again, I just want to make sure we are all nice there. Okay, almost done. Okay, let's just take a couple back stitches here. And finish off. Get your thread. All right, so see here, we've got our armhole sewn. So what we need to do next is, I like to use uh, pinking shears to cut down this seam allowance. So I'm gonna grab my pinking shears here. And if you don't know what those are, these are just these zigzag scissors. Uh, they're great uh, for cutting curves because they help the curve lay nice and flat. So we're gonna come in here and we're gonna cut pretty close to where we've sewn. All right, we're cutting. Okay, we're still going here. And there we go, okay. So we have this all nice and cut here, and this is where it's like the ah moment. So we are going to just pull this, we're gonna pull the other side, just turn it right side out. So you're just gonna pull, and you're gonna pull, and you're gonna keep pulling until it turns right side out. So here you can see that we have this nice finished armhole. So we are gonna take this over and press, press this side, and then we're gonna go and do the same thing with the other armhole. So let's take this over here to our iron. Sometimes I like to kind of roll this seam. It helps make sure that we're fully turned out. So take your iron and just give yourself a little press here. And Continue on. Now those pinking shears helped this lay nice and flat. You also could cut the seam down with your regular scissors, uh, which is absolutely fine, but I just really have a thing for my pinking shears. So continue over here. You just wanna make sure everything's nice and turned out. Okay. I just love pressing. Makes everything look nice and pretty. Please don't skip this step because it's what's gonna give your garment that professional look when you're all finished. So there we have our seam all nice and pressed. So we're gonna take this back over and we are going to sew the other armhole. Okay, so we have our one completed armhole. Now we need to sew our other armhole. Now what I like to do is I like to flip the dress the other way so that we are almost doing this in the exact same way that we did it the first time. But, you know, when you reverse things, sometimes our brain goes, wait, what do I do, what do I do? But if we do it on the same side, it's gonna be easy. So again, we are going to separate the exterior fabric from the lining like we have here. And this side's already completed. So we are gonna take the exterior over, remember over under, here we go over to this side. We are gonna take our lining fabric and we are gonna go under our, our, our completed armhole. And we're just gonna flip our fabrics like this, make sure we get our other armhole tucked nicely into our cocoon. Let's pull this one over here. You know it seems a little strange. But this is one of those techniques that once you learn how to do it, you don't even have to look at the instructions. It just becomes so intuitive. All right, so let's take our pin and pin our shoulder seams together. And then again, let's start at the beginning of the armhole. So we get everything nice and lined up. 
right, let's stick another couple of pins, you know, and you can pin as much as you want or feel comfortable with. Um, one thing I do wanna say is please don't sew over your pins. I know some, sometimes people are taught to do that, but um, it's really not good for your machine. And you can break a needle, which is always shocking when that ends up happening. So let's just start here. Put a pin in it and Put another pin over here. I think we're all we're all nice. So um, now that we have our armhole pinned again, see it looks just like it did from the first side because we flipped the dress. And I just think that's going to help you um, understand how to do this technique. So let's bring this over to the sewing machine and get our second armhole sewn. All right. So now let's put our presser foot down. Take a couple back stitches. And then we are going to sew this next armhole. All right. Okay, and as you sew, you know, you just make sure that that other armhole doesn't get caught anywhere in here. So keep checking. All right. Let's turn this this way. And again, I'm feeling to make sure that I'm all good. Now, the larger the garment size that you have, actually, this technique's even easier because the uh, shoulder seams are a little bit larger. Now, this is a size 12 months, so this is kind of one of our smaller sizes. My patterns go from six month up to size 10. So here we go. Moving along. Okay, almost there. Be patient with this. Okay, I want to double check, make sure I'm lined up here at the end. I am. And here we go. All right. Now let's take a couple back stitches. and we'll cut our threads. All right, so let's take this over here. Now you can see we have our other armhole all sewn. So again, I'm gonna take my pinking shears and I'm gonna cut this seam allowance down so that our armhole lays nice and flat. So here we go. I'm gonna cut pretty close to those, that seam, but don't cut through. I'll have to admit, I have cut through before, and if that happens, you know, you just need to go back and try to um, sew it again, because mistakes do happen, but you've got to be nice and careful here. Okay. All right. So let's put these to the side, move this out of the way. And same thing, we are just gonna reach in here. You see, we've got our other, other side in here and we're just gonna pull. You're gonna pull this out. Doesn't it kind of feel like magic? Like, voila, look. And again, this gets a little tight in here because this is a, a pretty small size. A larger size is gonna be a little more forgiving than this. So, now, just comes out nice and easily. Now we have our other armhole sewn. So we're gonna go press this. And look at that, isn't that so neat? I really do just feel like it's magic, but you can use this technique on so many different patterns. Even if, it's, even if the pattern doesn't call for this technique, think about ways that you can incorporate it um, into your garment sewing, because it's a beautiful way to finish the armholes of a lined garment. So let's take this over here to our iron and get our other armhole pressed. All right, so here we've got our other armhole and we're gonna take our iron and press. And again, if you need to kind of wiggle this so that you make sure it's turned out fully, but by cutting that seam allowance down, we are gonna be pretty good. And let's just press that, got a little wrinkly in there. All right. Let's 
shimmy that out there. Okay. And come over here and let's start this here. Isn't that looking pretty? Nice and pretty. Okay, so then let's take this back over and have a little look at what we've done. So now we've completed both of our armholes on our lined dress. Wasn't that technique a lot easier than you thought it would be? It sounds really complicated, but really it's very easy and it's such a beautiful way to finish a lined garment. So that's it for today's lesson. For more tips and tricks and free tutorials, visit me at thecottagemama.com. Thanks so much for joining me on Lessons with Lindsay, and until next time, happy sewing.